Hi folks, welcome. Today we're gonna stop building weird machines like the previous project that was this fan on the back and I'm gonna build something so handy for me, a laser cutter. I used to cut fabric every day using this, this is my old cutter. It works great, has a very sharp stainless steel wheel here on the front. It's just like a pizza slicer. You just have to apply some force and you can cut fabric without problems. But there's a big issue. With this you can practically cut straight lines, but it's almost impossible to cut very very small circles or maybe a star shape is it's impossible so a laser cutter solve all my problems and i think it's also interesting for you because i'm going to teach you how how to connect properly a laser module and how it works so this is a very cheap laser module basically they all work the same we have a power input and also a pwm signal i will teach you later on how it works but to have a precise cut of the laser, we need to have the maximum control of the module itself. I want to design a handle, an ergonomic handle, so that I can keep it with my fingers and like just like a pen and cut very, very precisely. So I designed in 3D the laser module so that I have perfect dimensions and now it's much easier for me to extrude all the parts. Starting with a glass tube, inserted inside an ergonomic handle basically this is just what we need and i want to print it in very high quality so the machine i'm going to use isn't a filament printer but instead is something that can keep with with these all rounded up shapes and i'm talking about this resin printer this has 4k resolution and it's more than enough for the, the, the object we need for today basically it works by puring some uh, uv resin this cures up when it's exposed to uv light and on the bottom there is a little screen that cures the resin and after four hours finally the object is taking shape and i i decided to go slowly to have perfect quality print and yeah now everything is ready let's see how it came out is always like a very special moment when i take it apart it's so shiny and smooth it looks like gold i will say transparent gold that's beautiful later I, later when the la laser will pass next to it will shine up everything and now let's start to wash the part i want to suggest you this little trick mix gasoline and alcohol with this percentage and you will clean up the, the part without problems in a couple minutes now it's time to cure the uv resin using this it is a cure machine expose the object for about eight minutes under this light will make it much harder and we can then mount it on the laser without problems it came out so beautiful now i designed also four little holes and one big hole so that i can place this glass tube i took the part from this marijuana pipe <laughs> for smoking and what I have to do is cut it at mention just leaving almost one centimeter above it and to cut glass is very simple we need just to use this this is a glass cutter basically it works like the fabric cutter I showed you earlier and little trick is just to spin the glass tube and to apply a little bit of force to cut the part just stop the wheel <laughs> and this will crash the glass and it came perfect so this will part this little part will go inside and this little glass component is crucial because it helps me to focus the, the laser and also to follow if i want to use like a ruler or like a jig that i can cut weird shades to connect the two parts together i can use four little screws on all the corners and just a screwdriver just make sure don't apply too much force because this resin isn't really made for this kind of job but you can see that ergonomic design works great i can keep it with my fingers no problems and i can't wait to turn it on to control the power of the laser we can change voltage but this can be tricky we can use instead a great trick we can instead use a little button the more frequent i push the button the more energy goes to the lamp for example and you can really understand that theoretically the longer I let the button push, the more brighter the shine, the light will shine. So you can understand that basically we are tricking the lamp to think there is more voltage by 
letting the, the bottom push for more, more time. You can, we cannot really do it with our fingers, we need a little computer, and this PWM signal generator is what we need. Let me explain you a little bit better what we need. We have a power supply, the laser, and something that looks like a water dam. So the more it gets open, the more power flows to it. To control the opening time of this little water dam, we can use a bottom. The bottom. So every time we push this button, the, the dam opens for a fraction of a second, and you can really understand that the more frequent we push this little button, the dam opens more frequently, and then more power flows to it. So if we push it slowly, 5 volts gets to the laser, and it's a very small amount of power, 8 volts, 10 volts, and 12 volts if everything goes so, so fast. Obviously, we cannot push it with our fingers with this rhythm. We do, I'm talking about 150,000 Hertz. So the trick is to use this PWM signal. It's something that also RC cars, toy cars use. Is I will tell you better on this principle. Basically, this is represented with, with square waves that can control the water dam I was talking about before. In real life, it isn't a water dam, but it's a semiconductor, like a transistor, that controls the flow of power that passes between the cables. Um, yeah, that's very, very, very ingenious because it doesn't take space. You can you can just need to have um, an heat sink to dissipate the, the power, and yeah, that's great. So I can use this little computer maybe not only to control the the laser, but also the spindle of a CNC or also LED strips. Also, the microwave of your house basically works by, by the same principle. And you can see that I can control the frequency uh, without problems, just pushing two buttons. So you can see that you can turn it on and off with the main button. And yeah, so this is the circuit that solves all our problems. And now you know how to connect properly a laser to a CNC machine or to an engraver or just to this little circuit that basically works the same. You can see I can change the power of the laser. Make sure always to wear goggles for your safety. Also a little reflection can destroy your eyes, so be careful. Even on top of you, I can't wait to wear it, so let's see how it looks like on my body. È cambiato qualcosina, vero ragazzi? So, folks, this was my April Fool's video, and I was looking better before. I'm joking. This is Selena, and she's a YouTuber. She makes clothes on her YouTube, and I was inspired by her problem, cutting fabric in very weird shapes, and this solved all of her problems, because she doesn't really have a laser engraver or a CNC machine, so I think with this laser module, she can follow jigs or shapes and cut a fabric without problems. So now you know how a, a laser is connected, and you can now understand how to connect it properly to a laser engraver or a CNC machine. You just need to have a PWM signal to power it on. So this PWM signal works with five volts, so make sure to don't mess up all the cables and read all the instructions. Something that can be pretty dangerous is that in this case the laser module isn't properly mounted in something fixed like a laser engraver, it's just in our fingers. So if you put it on a surface and you let it there, just make sure don't burn things around 
or your eyes. As always, I leave you here both videos of the previous week. Check it out and see you soon. <laughs> ciao, ciao.